忽又盼，我像个小孩，此刻心跳你明不明白？没了节拍，呜呜，你走了过来，太好看，连一刻都无法从你身上移开，呜呜，为你我拼命耍帅。为你我不再等待，为你抛弃任何事情，只求你爱。For you。Nahirapan ka sa assignment mo, ha? Oo nga eh. Tulungan mo nga ako. Tingin nga. Ano ba yung assignment mo? Determine the asymptote, domain, and intercept of the logarithmic function. Ah, ganda lang yung basic lang yan. The function is f of x equals to negative log x plus 2 base of 6. Use the natural logarithmic function which is f of x equals to log x and x greater than 0 base of e f of x is equals to negative log x plus 2 base of 6 the function is defined only if x plus 2 greater than 0 therefore the domain of the function is negative 2 to infinity the domain is function f of x is negative log x plus 2 base of 6 is negative 2 to infinity then step 2 to find the x-intercept and y equals to 0 substitute y equals to 0 in function f of x and negative log x plus 2 equals to 0 base of 6 and positive log x plus 2 equals to 0 base of 6 x plus 2 equals to 6 raised to 0 x equals to 1 minus 2 and x equals to minus 1 the x-intercept is at negative 1 and 0 ok, yan ang step 3 na tayo the function f of x negative log sum of x plus 2 base 6 as vertical asymptote at x plus 2 equals 0 and vertical asymptote is x equals negative 2 so, makikita mo sa graph na yan yan, yan yung magiging vertical asymptote x equals negative 2 So ang solution ay the domain of function f of x equals logarithm by 6 x plus 2 is negative 2 infinite The x-intercept is at negative 1 and 0 Vertical asymptote is x equals negative 2 Ngayon alam ko na kung paano Boy, pinapasagot na rin sir, sagutan nyo daw! Start by thinking of the graph for y is equal to logarithmic x base 5. If you wrote this in exponential form, it would look like 5 raised to y is equal to x. Go ahead and graph logarithmic x base 5 so you can reference it. The x-intercept of a function is where y is equal to 0. We know that 5 raised to 0 is equal to 1. Therefore, you have a point on that graph at 1 to 0. This is true for all graphs 
where n is a number and you have y is equal to logarithmic x base n. You also have an asymptote at x is equal to 0 because there's no way to make 5 raised to n is less than or equal to 0. Back to the transformed function. We know that y is equal to logarithmic x minus 1 base 5 is the same as y is equal to logarithmic x base 5. Move one unit to the right. This puts our new x-intercept at 2 to 0 instead of 1 to 0. The new vertical asymptote is at x is equal to 1. The plus 4 there at the end moves the graph up 4 units, which moves the point from 2 to 0 to 2 to 4. The asymptote doesn't change since this is strictly a vertical shift. Finally, to find the new x-intercept, set y is equal to 0 and solve for the x. 0 is equal to logarithmic x minus 1 base 5 plus 4. Subtract 4 from both sides. Negative 4 is equal to logarithmic x minus 1 base 5. Rewrite the function in exponential form. 5 raised to negative 4 is equal to x minus 1. Use your calculator to figure out. 5 raised to negative 4 is equal to 1 over 625 or in decimal 1.0016. Add 1 to both sides, 1 over 625 plus 1 is equal to x. Simplify the left side to get 2.0016 is equal to 626 over 625 is equal to x, where the graph intercepts the x-axis. Hey pre, may ba lang? Oh. May nagpapaturo sa akin sa akad? Papaturo mo sagot sa mat? Oh? Sa akin din ay baba eh. Yung ano, pare-parehas pa na tayo. Ito mo, sa akin may nagpapaturo din, babae. Tapos oh? sexy siya, pre. Saan, pre? Siya. Saan, pre, maganda. Diyan ka siyang balaklak, eh. Ang pangalan nun, pre? Pangalan niya, pre, ano? Si... Teka, sa... teka, teka. Nasa pa si Adol, eh? Ewan ko nga, eh. Ano? Tagal na nawala. Hindi na nagpapakita. Nasa pa si Adol, eh? Nasa pa si Adol, eh? Teka, teka, teka. Nasa pa si pag-ibig parang mat. Akala mo tama ka na. Mali lang pala ang formula. Parang pagmamahal ko sa kanya. Akala ko siya na. Pero tayong kaibigan lang pala.